I'm going to go up, up in there, and there's a very, very deep area. So this should be enough to, to flush it. I'm going to try to go around the perimeter. I also have to be very careful because there's a nerve up there. And then I'm putting the, 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 the pressure on the plunger so I don't want to jam the, the needle up. That, that would be very bad. So I suspect I may not get that much. My experience has been that when you knock out a large amount of crud, that usually that is the actual crud that you knocked out. The second part is not so dramatic. It could also be that I'm going to have a hard time finding the place that maybe I got to it the first time. I was very lucky. I also have a feeling that Maybe I was just reluctant to go up in there because it's just so deep and, and scary. Sort of hard to say. I think it's still in the area of the teeth, more so than the sinuses. So we shall see. See right there, very sensitive. So far, fairly clean, not much coming out, which is a good sign. But it means also I have to explore, do a better job of exploring, too. This is an area where I got blood before. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, so what do I do now? Huh. A lot of that, too. Huh. I'm just going to assume that's infection. It's possible that the blood vessel seems like it's a lot of blood. Okay. She got a pretty clear on the stuff. That's a lot of stuff. My lip was twinging. So I'm kind of concerned about the nerve. And the question is, what is this stuff? Is this just everyday blood or is this crud? My general experience is that it's crud. 